Welcome back everybody, happy Saturday. I am Father Andres here in our channel, El Buen Dios. As we here gather together to listen to the Lord's word, let us pay attention to the gospel as we prepare ourselves for the great feast of tomorrow, Pentecost, almost the end of Easter. So for today's gospel, we're gonna listen to St. John chapter 21st, verses 20 to 25. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper, and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that that disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die, just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, we read the end of St. John's Gospel. Actually, it is the end of the appendix of St. John's community that it added to the original text. In this particular case, it is a willingly significant fragment. The resurrected Lord appears before his disciples and confirms that they are to follow him, particularly as regards Peter. Next comes the text we proclaim today in the liturgy. The figure of the beloved disciple is central in this fragment, and even in the totality of St. John's Gospel. It may refer to a concrete person, the disciple John, or it can be a figure behind which any disciple loved by the Master can be placed, you and me. Whatever its meaning, the text helps to give an element of continuity to the Apostles' experience. The resurrected Lord assures us of His presence amongst those who want to follow Him. What if I want Him to remain until I come, says Jesus? This may perhaps refer to this continuity rather than to a chronological space-time element. The beloved disciple becomes a testimony of all that to the extent he realizes the Lord will always remain beside him. This is why he can write and his words are worth believing, because he glosses with his pen the continuous experiences of those living their mission in the midst of the world, while experiencing the presence of Jesus Christ. This beloved disciple can be each one of us, provided we let ourselves be guided by the Holy Spirit, he who helps us in discovering this presence. This text already prepares us to celebrate tomorrow the solemnity of Pentecost, the gift of the Spirit. And it says, And the paraclete came down from heaven, the church's custodian and sanctifier, the soul's administrator, the castaway's pilot, the wanderer's lighthouse, the fighting one's arbitrator, and he who crowns the winners, says St. Cyril of Jerusalem. So let us wait expectantly and with a lot of hope for this great gift that he has been promising to us in these past 50 days. I wish you a blessed Saturday and a great Sunday tomorrow. God bless you all and always remember, open yourselves to Christ. He never takes away anything, but he gives us everything. God bless. <laughs>